And hi, Brayden. What is on the big and little screens for us to watch this week? Well, a big day because the New Zealand International Film Festival opens tonight in Auckland and opens with Poirier, which I know so many people, including myself, very excited yeah. about. So yeah. uh, next week I might have a little, uh, little review on that, I think. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm looking for. I'm so looking forward to this. But some other stuff that you might like. You know, uh, Phil Cogan, Amazing Race. Yes, uh, yes. He's got a film called Le Ride in the festival this year. This is the dream team. My buddy Ben, Highway Patrol Officer Greg, and a shooter Scott. These races were meant to be like the last man standing. I don't think you know what you're letting yourself in for. And if you did, you wouldn't do it. So he jumps on a 1928 bicycle to complete the ride, and uh, some people calling him crazy, but it's one of those films you go, you know, there's a, there's a bit of um, a backstory to this, someone having a go of what the conditions would have been like way back then, so that, that is probably one of my top three that's Actually, worth that's watching. Actually, really good. I don't even know how to say his last name, so it's Kogan. Co I would say Kogan. Kyogen? Yeah, I would say Kogan. Kyogen? Yeah. Kyogen? It's one of those names. <laughs> uh, now, you know Eleanor Catton, um, yes. Luminaries? Don't really like the book very much, but <gasps> this. I can't say that. <laughs> no, that's. I just. I. I like a picture book. I'm, I'm a bit basic. <laughs> no, uh, but her debut book, The Rehearsal, um, has now been made into a film for the festival this year, and it's looking really good actually. Acting's hard work, Stanley. You have to earn my respect. My sister had this weird thing where she slept with her coach. I was the one who caught them. Was he like forcing her? Not at all. She wanted it. Ooh. And of course, James Rolleston in there too, which leaves people going, ah, I know, I know that face yeah. um, for a festival film, which is great to see. Yeah. Uh, now this film, I, it's another one of these ones where I would have liked to have brought you a clip, but it's too gross. Uh, it's called oh. The Greasy Strangler. Do you want us to act it out or something? <laughs> no, I don't. I definitely don't. But basically the story is father and son have a walking disco tour. Uh, the son is, no, 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 cool. wait, 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 the, the son's name is Brayden, funny enough, which means that I'm definitely not playing a clip, uh, there's only one, uh, one of us in this room, but also it's, it's got the fart jokes, it's, it's dirty, it's greasy, it's weird, it's perfect by the sound of things, <laughs> um, but not for consumption at this time of the morning on the television, so go to the NZ International Film Festival website. There's a whole range of films, obviously, through the festival. It's well worth checking out. Nice work. This one here, though, not a festival film, and I'm not 100% sure whether I want to see this because I'm a bit nostalgic about the original Ghostbusters. You've seen it. Do you reckon? Do you reckon Don't I... See it's it. a new... Yeah? Funny comedians. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice way of skirting yeah. around the, the answer. Most, <laughs> the most disappointing thing about it is yeah. the uh, theme tune, which has been redone by Fall Out Boy, which is just horrific. Yeah. They, they take Ray Parker Jr.'s and they massacre it and they rip it apart and they... Ugh, it's not good. And was the film as bad as everyone no, has been is. saying? No, there's nothing okay. wrong with it. Go and see it. I'm just nostalgic about it. It is looking very funny. Have a look at this clip. It's a class for operation. It's okay. She seems... Peaceful. My name is Aaron Gilbert, Doctor of Particle Physics. At <laughs> that stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Very hard to wash off. Yeah, ah, looks like so, a good Sunday afternoon movie, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe I need to get over myself. And also, yeah. uh, out on DVD is Lee Tamahori's uh, Mahana, starring Tim as well. I call this kind of a Kiwi version of Romeo and Juliet, and a little bit, uh, in such as two families kind of at war. That would be the very crude, basic way of, of boiling it's it down. Movie. Nice yeah. work. Well, thanks for bringing us all of them. That looks yeah. fantastic. It's, it's yeah. a tremendous movie, Mahana. Definitely worth seeing. Hey, well, thanks, Brayden. No worries. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow to see what's on over the weekend.